This man is an indie rapper named Denzel who at that time was recording his first song. After his session was over, he approached the studio owner and told him to finish the post-editing immediately. He was then invited to chat in the studio owner's office. The man suggested that he should release a full album and later they would promote it. But of course, the cost of recording an album was a lot. Denzel answered that he also wanted to record a full album, but he had to find the funds first. After returning from the recording studio, Denzel was approached by his friend and manager Gage. Seeing him with the long face, Gage asked what happened. Denzel answered that they had to release a full album so that it could be promoted, but the cost for production required quite a lot of money, and they didn't have it. As a friend and manager, Gage had a way to get money quickly, namely by working for a mafia boss. Without thinking twice, the two of them go to the bar to meet the mafia boss in question. It was revealed that Denzel and Gage were once gangster members who were quite agile in fighting and shooting. Arriving at the bar, Denzel and Gage went to the Mafia's confidant. Gage asked where the Mafia boss was because they intended to work for him. The man answered that his boss was in his office which is not far from this bar. Denzel and Gage quickly went to the Mafia boss's office. They then went to the place to meet the boss. Mr. B. Mr. B immediately asked what Gage's purpose was in coming to him. Gage answered that they needed a job. He wanted to employ them as long as they had to send drugs to the Chinese Mafia, but when the transaction was about to start, they had to slaughter the Chinese Mafia and bring the money to him. He promised to divide all the money from the Chinese Mafia equally. Without thinking twice, Gage accepted the job. He was then given a box full of drugs to pretend to make transactions with the Chinese Mafia in question. In short, Gage and Denzel have arrived at the Chinese Mafia's hideout under the guise of a restaurant. Gage immediately asked the Chinese Mafia to show them the money, and when they saw the money, suddenly a shootout ensued. Because Gage and Denzel were a former member of a gangster, they were able to eliminate the Chinese Mafia and his henchmen without difficulty. They then took the bag of money and left from there via the back door. Thirty minutes later, Denzel and Gage had returned to Mr. B's office. After counting and dividing it evenly, it turned out that the money wasn't enough to cover the production costs of making the album. Gage kept asking more, hoping that Mr. B would give more, but of course Mr. B didn't give anything extra because of the agreement at the beginning that they would only get a share of money from the Chinese Mafia equally. Mr. B provided a solution if they wanted to get additional money. They had to work for a year as a dealer for him. In the end, Gage and Denzel decided to leave and would think about the offer first. Before returning to their respective homes, Gage and Denzel discussed the offer from Mr. B Gage asked Denzel to just accept the offer because that was the only way they would get money quickly, but Denzel refused because being a dealer had a very big risk. He was afraid they'd get caught by the police so that later they wouldn't become a famous rapper but ended up in prison. Hearing this, Gage became disappointed and then left. Denzel went to his girlfriend's house and his girlfriend immediately welcomed him. In the morning, Denzel came home and he immediately gave his mother breakfast. His mother was suffering from a serious illness and she only lived alone with Denzel because her husband had divorced her for a long time. Before Denzel left, his mother asked him to spend time at home because she was no longer strong enough to walk alone. Denzel promised that this time he would only leave for a while. An hour later, Denzel was seen in the recording studio. He was seen revising a song that had previously been recorded. Because he wanted the song to be as he wanted it to be, he accompanied the studio operator to mix the audio. He had been sitting there for hours and it was late at night. Suddenly he remembered his mother and he said goodbye to leave. He also paid the previous recording costs using money from Mr. B. In short, Denzel arrived home and he was shocked when he saw his mother lying unconscious on the floor. He immediately called an ambulance and hoped that his mother could still be saved. The next day, Denzel's mother couldn't be saved because her illness was very serious. During the funeral, Denzel could only hold back her tears and try to let it go. Not long after, Denzel's father came to the funeral and immediately apologized because all this time he had never taken care of Denzel, not because he didn't love nor he didn't care, but because he was always forbidden by his wife whenever he wanted to see him. Denzel was very emotional and he threw his father out of the funeral, but before leaving, his father gave him a business card and told him to contact him when he needed something. In the afternoon, Denzel was visited by Gage, who showed his condolences for the death of his mother. He apologized because yesterday he got angry at him. In the end, the two of them made up and would continue looking for funds for the production costs of Denzel's first album. The next day, Denzel met his father because he hoped that his father could provide assistance in the form of money for the album production costs. 
He said that he needed $100,000 for the album production costs. Hearing this, his father apologized because he didn't have that much money. He could only help Denzel arrange his songs because it turned out that he was also a musician. In the end, Denzel took his father to his house to show him all his songs. In the evening, Denzel and Gage went to the bar to relieve stress. By chance, they met Nestar B there so Gage invited Denzel to talk to him, but Denzel refused so Gage came alone to Mr. B apparently. Gage decided to take the offer from Mr. B to become a dealer for him, but he would only work alone because Denzel didn't want to accept the job. Hearing this, Mr. B refused because the work must be done by two people, and if Gage was not with Denzel, he would never be accepted. Gage returned to his table. He grumbled because Mr. B refused to hire him to work alone. Once again, Denzel advised him that it would be best not to deal with Mr. B as they could earn money from other ways and they don't have to rely on Mr. B. At the same time, Gage saw his girlfriend who was a barmaid being harassed by another man. He could only hold back his anger while glaring at the man. After the man left, Gage went to his girlfriend behind the bar and asked what the man said. She said that the man gave her his home address and asked her to come to his house tonight. The man promised to pay her a lot as long as she wanted to sleep with him. Upon hearing this, Gage got so angry because his girlfriend was considered a prostitute. He immediately asked for the man's address because he had another way to get money. Somewhere else, the man who harassed Gage's girlfriend was shaving his beard at his house. Not long after, he got a call from someone, and when he picked up, it was Gage's girlfriend who admitted that she was in front of the house. He was very happy because soon he could sleep with a girl, but when he opened the door, it turned out that it was Gage who deliberately tricked him. He was then tortured while asked for all his money. Unable to withstand the torture, finally he gave Gage all this cash amounting to $100,000. He asked who Gage was and what was his business with him. Gage answered that he was the girlfriend of the woman he previously teased at the bar. Then, Gage killed him. The next day, Gage came to Denzel at the recording studio and gave him all the money he stole which amounted to $100,000. Denzel asked where it came from but Gage answered that he didn't have to know because the most important thing was that they could immediately release his album. In the afternoon, Denzel went to his girlfriend intending to tell her that starting tomorrow, he would release his first album. Instead of supporting him, his girlfriend didn't agree because she was afraid that if he became a famous singer, he would go with another woman. Denzel swore he would never do that, because after he became successful, he would immediately marry her, but she still didn't believe him, which made Denzel irritated and left from there. In the following days, Denzel started producing his album with the studio owner and Gage. Not only that, he was also helped to compose songs by his father who was a piano player. They were all very happy because the process of making the album was almost finished. The album would immediately be promoted and if people liked it, Denzel would become a famous singer. Three days before the album was launched, Denzel got a job at a concert at a nightclub and accompanied by Gage, Denzel held a concert there. One day, Gage was called by Mr. B to face him here. He asked if Gage had once killed someone and then stole money from him. At first, Gage lied by saying that if he had never done that, then Gage excused himself to go home because he was busy taking care of Denzel's album production, but Mr. B didn't let him go before answering his question. While torturing him, Mr. B explained that the man Gage killed was his subordinate and the money that Gage stole was also his money. In fact, he didn't care about the death of the man, but the most important thing was that Gage had to return his money. He even threatened to kill Gage, afraid that he would be killed. Gage finally admitted his actions and apologized. He also promised to immediately return the money as long as he was given a few days. In the end, Mr. B forgave him and then gave Gage four days to return all the money. Meanwhile, Denzel was chatting with his father. He asked whether the public would like his songs. The father answered that he should just pray so that his album would sell well. The next day, Denzel went to his girlfriend's house. He immediately apologized for arguing with her. He also gave her a CD containing a full album of his songs, hoping that his girlfriend would listen to and like the song. He promised that he would immediately marry her if the album blew up. In the end, the two of them made up. After that, Denzel was contacted by Gage who asked him to come to their regular restaurant. When they got there, it turned out that Gage had brought Denzel to meet Mr. B. Mr. B explained that Gage had stolen $100,000 from him and the money was used to produce Denzel's first album. Mr. B told them to return all the money within three days. Hearing this, Denzel asked permission to go out to chat privately with Gage. Outside, Denzel immediately pointed his gun at Gage and asked why he did that ridiculous thing. 
Gage answered that he had to for Denzel's sake. It would be useless if the two of them fought or killed each other because Mr. B wouldn't care about that. The only way was to get the money back in three days. In the end, they both fell silent and left. That evening, Denzel was contacted by Gage who invited him to steal money from Mr. B's business rival. Because that was the only way to get the money, there was no other choice, like it or not, Denzel agreed to Gage's invitation. In short, Gage and Denzel were preparing to go on their way to rob money from Mr. B's rival. Before they acted, they planned a strategy to steal the money. Gage explained that they would pretend to a hefty amount of drugs, and after they saw the money, they would carry out their mission. After understanding the strategy, Gage and Denzel went inside and met the Mafia boss. Gage pretended to sell the drugs at low prices so that the Mafia boss would buy them. Hearing this, the Mafia boss immediately took out a bag of money and asked Gage to show him the drugs. At the same time, Denzel pretended to be contacted by someone and excused himself for a moment to answer the call, and when the Mafia and his men were off guard, Denzel and Gage attacked them. It didn't take long for Denzel and Gage to kill the Mafia and his subordinates. They then took the bag of money belonging to the Mafia boss and immediately opened it. Unfortunately, the money didn't reach $100,000 but only $20,000. Feeling disappointed, Gage and Denzel decided to go home. Two days later, Gage was seen being severely tortured by Mr. B because he couldn't return all the money. He asked Mr. B for more time and promised he would pay extra, but Mr. B had had enough. He decided to confiscate all Denzel's album cassettes before they were sold on the market. Quickly, Mr. B and his men went to Denzel's studio. After Mr. B left, Gage was able to kill two of the guards who stayed and then followed Mr. B to the studio. Meanwhile, the studio owner was seen chatting with Denzel's father when suddenly Mr. B and two of his men came and asked the studio owner to hand over all of Denzel's albums. The studio owner refused until Mr. B immediately beat him. Mr. B held the studio owner and Denzel's father at gunpoint and asked them to immediately hand over the albums. The studio owner pretended to be taking them even though he was actually trying to take a gun, but before he could even shoot the gun, Mr. B's lackey shot him first to death. After the studio owner was killed, Mr. B's men managed to get the Denzel song albums, which had not been sold to the market. Not long after, Denzel came and asked what they were doing there. Mr. B explained that he would confiscate the albums and would later sell all of them as compensation for the $100,000 that Gage had not paid. Denzel didn't mind this at all as long as everything could be resolved peacefully, but suddenly Gage came and a shootout ensued. Gage was able to finish off two of Mr. B's men, but he was shot and died. Seeing this, Denzel got furious and shot Mr. B with his gun. In the end, Denzel managed to finish off Mr. B. Denzel's father, who was seriously injured, was immediately rushed to the hospital, and fortunately was saved. A year later, Denzel was on pilgrimage to Gage's grave. He was very grateful because thanks to Gage, his album was selling well, and he finally became a famous rapper. Not only that, he had also married his girlfriend and had a son.